What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the newly upgraded 84 rated Ryan Gravenberch. I'm actually really, really excited to try him out because as you can see, I played 42 games with his 82 rated card. Um, basically, I'm linking him in with David Neres and also McIntosh. Uh, obviously, if you guys did complete the foundations for the Eredivisie lads, you've got McIntosh, uh, Owusu, and you've also got that Openda card up top, which if I did complete Openda, he'd literally fit perfectly over where for is sitting right now um, but no other than that boys like I'm actually really excited to try this team out it's a little bit of a different one and as well lots of you guys might not know but we did pack an inform Neymar from one of those small free gold league gun packs like two common and one rare um, and in five minutes after we packed Ben Yedda so you guys will probably be seeing both Neymar and Ben Yedda in some of these new reviews upcoming but nonetheless boys 84 rated he will be getting his his 86 rated one when the group stages are over as well so he'll be an 86 rated card i'm not sure when maybe another week or two but as soon as the group stage finishes he should be going to that 86 because obviously uh, he did qualify for that double upgrade now he is six foot three with medium medium work rates four star four star 83 pace so obviously he's literally gotten a plus two on every single stat so he had 81 pace now he's at 83 um and when i did use his 82 rated card honestly his 81 pace didn't feel too bad whatsoever it was really really solid um so that 83 is even better shooting we didn't really have to test out too much. I do say that he did score 15 goals. I'll probably say maybe 9 or 10 of the Mozin squad battles vote to literally get the uh, objectives done for it uh, for the uh, Owusu card or whatever it is so you have to keep that in mind but nonetheless the shooting was okay in division rivals when I did have to test it out. His passing really really good um, and dribbling was absolutely spectacular especially for being 6 foot 3. Defending's not crazy. Uh, his physical as well is really solid. I mean good stamina okay strength but that 56 aggression is a little bit of an issue. Obviously it was 54 uh, before with his 82 rated card and I can confirm it is a little bit of a you know uh, 56 aggression not ideal player traits he's got the flair and he has got the outside of the foot shot trait now for the chemistry style we have gone for an engine personally but it just depends where you're playing him if you're playing him as a CDM go for either a shadow or an anchor uh, if you're playing him as a box to box centre mid like myself then go for an engine because there's no point getting a defending or physical boost when you're not playing him defensively in game we're going to be playing him as a a left center mid in a 4-3-1-2 and we're literally just going to have him on cover center and we're just going to keep him on balance so the definition of a box to box center mid but if we do boys let's get into it as well an update on the current player review leaderboards in first as it stands we've got david janola followed closely in second by rule breakers arnautovic and in third in form david alaba remember these ratings out of 10 are determined on two things how they perform for me and also their value Graven Birch currently coming in at 70,000 coins. Can he make his way onto the top three? Right, let's go, boys. Now, first game, we've got... Oh, it's a nice team. He's still got 80 rated gold Vinicius, which means one thing. We're about to concede free to him. I uh, can be Varane. That back line scares me. Yeah, no, nah, that, that back line scares me. And Barpay as well. All right, be a very, very big test, boys. We're currently in Division 1 as well. I believe we're one win away uh, from their, I think, rank 2 checkpoint, I'm pretty sure it is. So let's see if we can get this win. Go on, Graven Birch, go in for that. Lovely tackle, already getting involved. Putting Mbappe in his back pocket there, we love that. Now, obviously, he should be moved back into that left centre mid position now on that 4-3-1-2. Um, he feels, honestly, his dribbling feels a little bit better as well. It's not a massive difference because it is only a plus 2. It's not like it's like a plus 5 or something like that. Um, but no, you can definitely notice it. You can definitely notice it. Jockeying as well, I did notice before, um, before he even got to touch a ball. Right trigger and left trigger with him like I'm doing now. It feels a lot more, you know, smooth. He can go from left to right quicker, if you will. Craven Birch for there for that's an amazing pass. I was like half expecting it to get intercepted as well, but the power on that pass, uh, considering how short it was, was absolutely amazing. Go on, make that run, Zanetti. As you can see, Graven Birch kind of making his run in. You know, let's try to finish that. He's got some shooting about him. Oh my god, Graven Birch, he's got a vet in his locker. Okay, that, like, I'm not gonna lie. My opponent has been all over me. This is literally like our first time with a ball in his third. And what do we do? Gravenberg, he's only got 82 shooting. That was a finesse shot as well. He, he's definitely got something in his locker with that. But what I want to take away from that was that run. Did you guys see that run he was making? That's absolutely exceptional. Uh, if you do play him as a ball in centre mid, you will notice he'll get in quite a lot of positions like that. But we absolutely love that. Rafana, let's find Gravenberg again. It's not quite Gravenberg. Let's see if he can do it again. He, nah, his dribbling is actually... His dribble, okay, finally gets tackled, but his dribbling is really good. For six foot three, trust me, boys, you will be impressed with his dribbling. Gone. 
Graven Birch again. Graven Birch with two. What is going on? He puts us back in it. What's going on, boys? It's just a, he's playing as a left center mid, by the way. Like, I can confirm right now. Like, literally, he's playing on balance as a left center mid. I mean, like, you're like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but he is performing today. Graham Birch once again, just play that out. Like, honestly, he's six foot three, but he dribbles like he's five foot nine. I'll be brutally honest, he feels really, really good on the ball. He came in with a massive performance in the first game, getting us two goals. The second half was a little bit tedious, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was very, very boring. The match ended 2-2. My opponent, I don't know, I'm not going to say my opponent was playing toxic. But he was just, you know, playing around, playing position. And then when I had the ball, I was, you know, doing the same thing because he had so much players in the box. It was just one of those games. If you guys are in a relatively high division, you'll understand what I mean. Um, but no, we got lots of clips in the first half of them. Let's get into the second game. First game, two goals. First of all, a brilliant finesse outside of a box and a beautiful run. Um, to take away from, this, uh, from that first game, I can say two things about him. He feels a whole lot better than his first card and he dribbles like he's 5'10", despite being 6'3". Let's get into the next game, boys. Go on, Graven Birch. Can he hold up strength wise against Benzema? He can as well. That's actually really nice. He just, you know, pushes him off uh, his shoulder a little bit. Back to Graven Birch. I see Larson making that run. Honestly, I don't know why I'm using Larson. I suppose we just got him from our icon pack last night. So we may as well give him a run. He's not the best. Nice four star skills. Once again, nice dribbling. Hey, he still has it. That's the thing about him, which is really nice. He does get tackled. You can win it back. He's 6'3". He got good defensive stats. So, you know, if it is in a, in a situation like that, you will notice he'll actually win it back quite a bit. 6'3", as well. He has a massive presence just towering over your opponent's attacker. Man, he feels, once again, very fast. Over top to uh, Larson. Larson, I'm going to take a touch. We kind of bottle it with Larson. He kind of slowed down the play a little bit too much for my liking. Oh, I want to give that to Neymar as well. Either way, that was absolutely class from Graven Birch for run. Uh, he felt very fast and obviously the over the top the ball, over the over top ball. Uh, there we go. That's how you say it. To uh, Larson was really nice, but Larson just can't really handle the style of play. Yeah, uh, I'm not getting along with Larson. Uh, you know what? I'm actually sub him off. I uh, know it's because I'm trying to play fast, right? We sent Larson over the top. We needed a quick touch into like a, you know, maybe a scoop into uh, agile dribbling to try finding a shot away. And we simply couldn't do that. I am used to using Ben Yedda paired with Neymar as well. So I think maybe it's time. You know what? I think it's Lionel Messi time. You know what? He's just won a seven foul and do it. And he's bring Lionel Messi off a bench. A good player to have on the bench. Grabbing Birch once again. His strength holds up. Lovely stuff. Messi. Instant impact. That's an amazing assist for Graven Birch as well. Instant impact from Lionel Messi. One minute after the half. One minute after getting subbed on. But let's talk about that assist from Graven Birch as well. Boys, he's currently involved. He's currently been involved with three of my three goals. I've scored four goals and he's been involved with three of them across my last two matches. Come on, man. He is doing absolute bits. Graven Birch gets that tackle for it. Goes back to him now. We're five and up. We've got nothing to lose. I just want to try and, you know, like, once again, right trigger, left triggering, jockeying with him. Ah, he drops back, gets that tackle through. You love that. But right trigger and, right trigger and left trigger jockeying, uh, you know, when you're kind of trying to, like, you know, follow a player, it's really, really effective with him. And I said it earlier, but I've noticed it's a lot more effective with this new 84 rated card than his 82 rated. I mean, obviously, right, because he has been upgraded, but he just feels a lot more smooth, a lot more quick on the turn, if you will. Overall, boys, I mean, a very nice game. We ended up picking up a 6-1 win. Uh, Graven Birchley switched over to myself. And no, Neymar got two goals. Messi got two goals to assist after getting subbed on. Uh, David Neres with a goal and assist. Where is my... Am I... Okay, very well. I was going to say, where's Graven Birch? I'll go on past him. One assist, obviously picking up that assist to Lionel Messi. Two goals in the first game and one assist in the second. Not too shabby from the left centre mid position. Let's hop over to the end screen. Overall, man, I really, really liked this card. I think he's a very, very... Like, you can definitely tell the difference between his 82 rated. And he's only 70,000 coins. The links he gets for 70,000 coins, you can grind a Macintosh and Owosu objectives for essentially free. Obviously, time is money. Owosu, the right back, obviously, is what? I mean, eight games, I think. Uh, Macintosh is, I think, win six games in, in the game mode. And David Neres is an SBC, and he's still out for another 50 days. He's like 200,000 coins to craft. He's a really solid card. He's so far picked up 12 goals, 10 assists, and 21 for me as a cam. Uh, so he's got, what, 20? He's averaging like 1.1 goal slash assist per game as a central attacking mid. Not too shabby. So I feel like the links he gets for being 70,000 coins, like I said, Macintosh, Orosu, and David Neres are the main three. Um, I think he's actually a really 
really, really good value card because he is absolutely phenomenal in-game and he is due to go to an 86 rated soon as well. Overall, man, very nice card. Uh, as you can see, the pros, first of all, we're going to go for four star, four star. We are going to go for his passing, 86 short passing and 89 long passing. Obviously, we have gone for an engine, which puts him to 90 long passing and 91 short passing. Also puts him to 91 crossing, 90 curve and 92 vision. Uh, dribbling as well. Dribbling is absolutely class. Uh, once again, an engine puts him to 91 agility, 90 balance and 99 in game dribbling. I think he's really, really good dribbling wise and traits as well. Flare trait outside the foot shot trait some very nice traits to have as i said if you're playing him as this box to box sentiment like i did myself then i'll say go for an engine or if you're playing him defensively then i would go for a shadow or an anchor but for me i'm going to choose an uh choose an engine as i did play him sentiment across a couple uh games we just played with his 84 rated card but no i said it earlier he's six foot three but he dribbles like he's five foot nine and he is very very good in that aspect jockeying with a right and left trigger very responsive much more responsive than his 82 rated um, now the only con is 56 aggression. I feel like if you're playing him as an attacking minded centre mid it's not going to be too much of an issue uh, but if you play him defensively that will be an issue. Going into tackles he just doesn't feel as good in, in that sense but overall man I'm going to go ahead and we're going to give him a 9 out of 10. I think he's actually really really good value. Uh, I mean 70,000 coins absolutely unreal box to box centre mid in game. Incredible links. I hope you guys did enjoy and until next time see you later.